Hello folks, it's MK. Today we're going to be checking out Angel Legion. It's a game I've been playing for the last few years and for the next few months I'm going to be showing you how to make progress in the early game as a budget player. Something we haven't really done before and a lot of people have been asking that have been playing this game, yo MK, how would you make progress through the beginning of the game? So I'm going to be as optimal as possible, no weird teams, we're going to try and build something super streamlined and not spend a lot of money. We're going to be budget and focused on getting monthly stuff and there's things I would normally buy playing a gacha game. Today's video is sponsored by Angel Legion and they've had a whole new look. Check it out. Look at that. They've added a whole new homepage. This looks pretty freaking cool. I like the brighter colors. I'm loving the aesthetic. Look at badass battle suit space babe. Pretty cool. If you're into this kind of thing, this game's for you. I'm going to be starting off on server 82 on Android. Let's go ahead and give it a spin. And make sure you subscribe if you want to stay tuned with all our progress on this account. So the first thing I need to do is tell them my name, MKX Jump. There we go. Let's enter that in. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and do our first few missions. So we have our first battle here. This should be relatively easy. Maya should be able to take down these troops, no problem. There you go. Nice. So first thing we need to do here is level up Maya. So there we go. We've got her to level five. Let's go fight again. We get an ult here. Should be able to kill him. Oh, we're looking pretty weak here. Oh, no, there's our ult. That's nice. And there we go. We got a win. So the first hero we get alongside Mysterious Girl is Powerful Mage. So let's go ahead and add her to our team. There we go. She's in. So we need to add Powerful Mage to our lineup. She's an A tier. Let's go ahead and fight. Right, Maya's got an ult. And so does Powerful Mage. Here we go. Is she going to kill? Let's see. No, not completely. Oh, we're looking pretty weak here. Oh, wait, no. Powerful Mage might have this. Oh, yes, she does. Wow. So the next thing the game wants us to do is it's going to show us how to use different weapons. So we're going to equip the rifle here, and that should allow us to hit backline opponents. Now we're doing a lot more damage to these guys. It's pretty good to see. Ooh, nearly killed him. Powerful Mage does get an active. Nicely done. So next thing we can do here is do our first advanced recruit. Let's see what we pull from this one. Are we going to get ourselves anything good? Let's have a look. That's going to be a gentle healer. Nice. She's a really good healing character. So let's go add her to the lineup. Now I want our healer to be the last one to go because that gives the opponents the most amount of times to hit us so that we can heal off the damage they do. Hopefully we can kill their backline here. There we go. Now we just got to do an ult and hopefully kill their front line. Well, that was pretty good from Powerful Mage. Gentle healer healing us back up. And Maya should get the finish here thanks to that heal. Nicely done. So now it's going to show us another item, the Hero Katana. Now this, in my opinion, is the best artifact you can use. A lot of people like it over the Scythe and the Rifle, mainly because it's got some really good combo heroes you can use alongside it. Because there are certain heroes in this game that when you use their ults, if you're using a particular artifact on Maya, you'll actually get an enhanced ability, which deals more damage or gains bonus effects that allow you to control or stuff like that. Also, it makes Maya a really good frontline character once you level her up because it gives her fortitude, which allows her to defend against a lot of attacks. Either way, let's see how this performs. It should allow us to hit enemies in a column when we do our ult as well, which will be really nice. Now, we've got the ult here. It's going to buff our attack as well, which is pretty nice. Yep, see we're hitting those heroes in the column. Then we've got Powerful Mage putting out an ult. Then we've got some healing here, which is really helpful. And we should be able to take down these last two enemies. There we go. Nicely done. So now we've got ourselves some titanium, we can use this to improve our cabin. Now one of the goals here as a budget player, or even if you're free to play, is to try and get your master cabin to level 5 as quickly as possible. That might take you around a month of just idling and grinding through the campaign. Shouldn't be too difficult to do, but once it's master level 5, you get a lot more accessible things in the game. Either way, let's go ahead and unlock our production cabin, biological cabin, storage cabin, and our collectors down here at the bottom. Perfect. So it wants us to switch now back to the scythe because they're going to show us what happens with combo attacks. And just this night, the person who's been teaching us, Agraya, she's going to show us what happens when we use her as a combo hero. So she's a scythe hero, she, she requires us to use scythe, but it will add just this night to the lineup. And when she does her ult, you'll see just how much more powerful it is. You can see she already starts here with four energy, so she will be able to use her ult immediately. And here she comes. You get a sick animation, and we just destroy that opponent at the back. Very nice. Now, we've got Hellscythe here at the front. She's going to heal up. That's not too great, but hopefully Justice Knight could do another big hit like that, which is pretty solid if it happens. There we go. We do an ult with our Maya. She's looking like she might die here. Powerful Mage does get a hit off. Now, healing comes through. Nice. Can we kill this hero here? Oh, man. There we go. Nailed it. 
Okay, we're at a point now where we can start to spend some money, which is pretty good. That's going to get us access to Hellscythe as a hero we can use, and we get some gems and armor as well. So what I'm going to do, actually, rather than recharging immediately, what I'll do is I'll go to our events, and we've got our benefits. We've got daily sign-in, which gets us rewards every day we check in, and eventually that'll get you some advanced recruit devices, which you can use to get S-tiers, and after enough signs in, you'll actually get yourself a copy of Justice Knight. But also we have our monthly cards, and this is going to give us diamonds, which are real helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and get us our super month and monthly card, as these will get us diamonds, which we can use to make progress. With these added to our account, we get some recharge points, which means we can claim some rewards. So we got our first recharge rewards here, which is going to give us a copy of Hellscythe, who's going to be a pretty solid hero early on, although you probably don't want to keep her until late game, but she's still really, really strong. We also get some armor we can give to her, and we can claim our first rebate rewards here. So if you look, claiming all this stuff, which is going to be super strong for us. So we get a full pink set of armor, and that's looking pretty nice. That also means we can go into the cabin, so first thing I'm going to do is going to up the Master Cabin level. That's going to get us Master Cabin level 2. And I don't currently have enough gold to improve our Bio Cabin or Storage Cabin, so we're going to need to do some battles. So first thing I'm going to do is get our S tier Hell Scythe here. We're going to give her this pink equipment we managed to grab. And as well for our healer, she's going to be pretty important. I'm going to give her all this blue equipment, as that's going to help her keep us alive. And I think between our healer and our Hell Scythe, we'll have a lot of progress. Also, we've got our login rewards every single day this week for being a newer server. We'll get ourselves a lot of advanced recruit devices and additional items to help us out. There's also a recharge pack here, which should help you out and get you copies of Valkyrie if she was a hero you wanted to go ahead and achieve. It's also going to get you full orange armor as well, which is super nice. And if you were planning to spend big, there's some additional packages here which can get you additional copies of heroes, which can also help you out. And look, there's another Valkyrie there too, and she's one of the stronger heroes in the game. So we've got 10 advanced recruit devices we can use here. Let's see if we're lucky enough to pull an S tier from this. Hopefully, we get one. Oh yeah, it says MKX Jump got a Storm Witch. There she is. Nice. Storm Witch is a really nice early S tier to have as well, so I'm very happy with this. Also, if we hop into the mall here, this will allow us to get copies of heroes. The most important thing I buy from here is the advanced recruit devices that are available, and I also get myself a copy of whatever S tier is available, as getting more of these can be really helpful for making progress. As you play, you'll also get Star Chest 3s, which you can go ahead and pop in here, and you'll get yourself some rewards as you go ahead and unlock those. It'll take you a day to get that open. We've also got some explore quests here where we can deploy our heroes, and ah, we don't seem to have anyone available. That's fine, because we haven't enhanced anybody. They're all unupgraded. If you want to upgrade your heroes, what you need to do is go to evolve and start putting in the heroes that you need. So what I'll do is I think I can actually start doing that here with Hellsight. So I'm going to evolve her. Hopefully we've got some heroes we can put in. Yeah, we don't seem to have any. Okay. Oh, I know why. So any of the beaters we managed to pull up in automatically summoned and added to our pool of heroes. So that's one thing you need to bear in mind. If you do want to get heroes, you will have to go into the more option and dismiss them to get their shards back to upgrade things. But for now, I'll just leave it as it is and hopefully we can get some more heroes as we progress. So the next thing we need to do, I'm just going to evolve up our Hell Scythe, see how high of a level we can get her. Okay, I managed to get her to level 12. That should be pretty good for now. So at this point, we can enter the portal and go ahead and enter the next chapter. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and battle every single spaceship here on the map. So if you look, you can go ahead and fight these opponents, and I'm going to go ahead and put in a lineup so we can do just that. So that'll be our team for now. Let's go ahead and fight. Now that we've cleared most things on the map, there's another thing we need to look out for, which is these pirates. On the grayed out area on the edge of the map, pirates can be hidden that you'll want to go ahead and fight. Make sure you find all three pirates on a stage before advancing. And as you go ahead and destroy things and beat things as you go through, you'll see pirates will be one of the things you need to eliminate. So I've eliminated one out of three of my pirates so far. So let's go see if I can find the rest by flying near the edge here. Ooh, we also found a drift box. These are fantastic as these contain advanced recruit devices and are hidden somewhere on the map. So I'm just going to fly around the edge here until we find the pirates. Normally on this particular map, they're hidden in the corners. So we're just going to fly around the edge. Hopefully we'll find one in the corner here. There we go. And there's the last one. Nice. With those beaten, let's go ahead and claim that stuff through. Beautiful. Now, one thing that will also pop up every now and then is the explore feature. And this will allow something to appear on the map that can get you bonuses. In this case, I get some triangle crystals from here. And I'm going to explore again. And we've got ourselves, okay, some force. Nice. With everything on the map cleared, let's go and exit through the portal and go into the next stage. So here we go, we're entering into chapter 2. So for making the progress that we've done on day 1, we can go ahead and claim our beginning rewards here, which you can find 
in the guidance section, which you can find in the journey section. We've also got adventure rewards we can claim, which is going to get me some more advanced recruit devices. And we can also go put in some more chests that we managed to acquire. Nice. So we got three star chest threes now. Perfect. Now, with what we've managed to get, I'm going to level up Hellscythe and make her even stronger. Okay, I got her to level 35. That's nice. So I'll go ahead and progress the main story. And let's see how far we can get. Now, as you progress through, you'll get given these jigsaw puzzles, which when you clear out, you'll get some bonus rewards. In this case, we got 300 triangle crystals, and you also get some flavor for the story. And basically, as the story unfolds, you'll learn more information about the lore of this place and what exactly is going on between you, Maya, and the rest of your heroes. Now, as we progress through, it's letting us go ahead and equip our armor that we found onto our heroes. Ideally, you want to have armor from a matching set, as that will allow you to get an energy bonus, which means your heroes are more likely to do their active skills in the first round. So we got some more gold, which means we can enhance our storage cabin. Very nice. Now I'm going to leave our collectors at the bottom here. I want to save my titanium to mainly upgrade the master cabin and the middle three cabins. We also now have some beaters, so we can start evolving our heroes. We get these B origin genes, which means we can enhance heroes like Jocasta up to another level. So I've managed to get our S tiers, Gentle Healer and Mysterious Girl all to one star. So what we can do now is start doing explore missions because I have one star heroes which means we can passively gain these benefits as we go. In that case, let's carry on with some more campaign missions. So with all our fights here, we've gone ahead and cleared every chapter two enemy pretty easily. And now we can go ahead and clear out the map again and move on to chapter three. With the whole map cleared, let's move on to the next area. Also, at this point, I've got 10 more advanced recruit devices to do. Hopefully we can get ourselves an S tier hero. Although if we were gonna get an S tier, it would say at the top. So I think we're just gonna get ourselves an A tier. Yeah, just a bunch of eight tiers. Not too bad. Oh, actually, not too bad at all. I managed to get two healing experts. She is going to be super helpful. So healing expert is one of the other healers available in the game. And ideally in the early game, it's really good to have two A tier healers. So we've got gentle healer. And now we've got healing expert as well. This is fantastic. So I'm going to put some B origins in here, evolve her up, and that's going to make her one star. Also, I'm going to take our guys to level 10 so that we can unlock their skills. And for our S tiers, we need to get them to level 20 to unlock all their skills. So there we go. I should get Stormwish to level 20. Nice. Now, one issue with Maya is everything you put in her can't be undone. So I'm actually going to leave her for now because there's a feature in this game where the levels of your other heroes can enhance the power of anyone else. So what I like to do is put Mysterious Girl in on there because actually Mysterious Girl is one of the more expensive heroes to upgrade. So it's quite a cool trick if you don't upgrade her and just focus on upgrading your other heroes instead. And that can be found in the Hero Resonance, which we'll need to unlock later. So with all that done, let's go ahead and carry on with the campaign missions. Now one hero I am going to upgrade is Bloody Spear. Now the reason I want to level her up is because she deals physical damage to all enemies, which can be really, really strong. So she's kind of like a lower level version of Valkyrie. Still a very good hero to upgrade. Also, the cool thing is any leveling you do on heroes, you can undo later using the dismiss feature. So you're not committed to these things either, which is going to be more useful when we get powerful heroes. Also, because we've given everyone matching sets of armor, they should all do active skills at the beginning. Yeah, there we go. See Bloody Spear doing damage to everyone here. Then we got some healing here if we need it. And there we go. Should have the win here. Nicely done. So currently we're having a pretty tough time against these opponents here. They're doing a lot of damage to us, but this really goes to show why the double healer strat could be so strong early on. So this Hellscythe is just tanking everything. When she does her ult, she heals, and then we've got our two other healers to help keep her alive. And we're slowly whittling away at these opponents. And the thing is, is we reduce the number of opponents, we reduce the number of damage that they can deal, and that results in eventually us winning the fight. It just takes a little while. So you can see it took us almost 10 rounds to beat these guys here. In fact, it's going to be 11 rounds here, yeah. And there we go. That's a win. So that's an important strat there. The double healers keeps us alive, lets us burn through waves like that one with no problem. So we're on to our first tough battle here, and that's the boss fight of chapter three. So we're going to have to go ahead and make our team more powerful. Now, there's a few ways we can go ahead and do that. The first one is to see if we can do any recruits. Nope, I've only got one advanced recruit device, but I do have 24 normal recruits. So let's go ahead and blast these out. I'll get some C and A tier heroes if we're lucky. And we get some bees in there as well. So let's go ahead and use these to enhance our team. So what we'll do first is we're going to go ahead and take up the star level of our heroes. So if we go to the evolve menu, we can go ahead and take Hellsythe up to three star. So I'm going to put our B tiers in here. And we'll evolve again. That's going to be two star for her. Confirm that. And now I need to put an A tier hero in. We've got an origin gene here. And that's going to be three star on Hellsythe. Let's do the same thing here with Stormwitch. So we'll go to evolve. And let's take her up. And that's going to be three star 
on Stormwatch. Now our Explore's come back, which we can go ahead and claim, and I don't think we have enough three stars to do this yet. Yeah, we need two more three stars. So let's claim our levels here, and we are going to need to get some more B tiers. So one thing we've managed to do is unlock the arena. So first thing we can do is go ahead and fight some people on the server. So we've got this guy here, should be able to beat him pretty easily with our team. There we go, that's a victory. In fact, one of my hero's power level is higher than his entire lineup. Ha! Because this is a brand new server, there's probably going to be quite a good chance I can get quite high up on here. A, given my experience, and B, given the fact there probably aren't too many people on the server yet. I think we've only got about 500 people in, so there's still plenty of room for you guys to come and join. It's on Android, it's server 82. You can get it using a Google Play emulator, such as Bluestacks or LD Player, links for those in the description, or you can go ahead and join us if you're just an Android user on mobile. The game's called Angel Legion, give it a download and see if you enjoy it. Well, that's surprising. I was able to make it to the top 13 on the server. That's pretty cool. Now, one thing we need to do is fuse together all our equipment. So all this gray equipment you get, you can go ahead and fuse that into green equipment. Then you can fuse your green equipment into blue equipment. Little tip for making a bit of progress there. And it's worth keeping it at blue for now and getting that so that you have blue equipment on all of your heroes. Also, you need to recycle one piece of equipment a day. So just get rid of a piece of gray equipment. That's no issue. Okay, we've got ourselves a lot of golden force now as well. So what I'm going to do is level up the strength of our heroes and make them stronger. So one thing I want to do is try and get Hellsight up. Because you can see as I'm enhancing her, it's actually improving the power level of our skills. I wonder what level we can take her to. Can we get to 60? Yes, we can. And we'll probably do the same here with Stormwitch. Let's get her up to 60. Ah, the highest we can get is 44. I've run out of force. In that case, let's see if these enhancements are enough to take down this boss. So we're going to start off with an ultimate here from Hellsight, doing a pretty decent chunk of damage to those guys. And she's a lot more tanky now. Yeah, these guys are only level 30. So those level ups we got are going to be super helpful. Now I'm looking at this. We might want to enhance our healers as well just so they can keep our health scythe alive. It might be good to level up our heroes as a unit rather than one at a time. Although I do think pumping everything into health scythe is a pretty good idea because she's a very good standalone unit because she can heal herself as well when she gets an active skill. Oh, already great hits there from Stormwitch getting multiple basic attacks off. That's fantastic. Now, Health Scythe should pop off with a huge ult here. Let's see it. Oh, that was nice damage. Those two guys on the end there looking pretty weak. Just that Raging Angel in the middle, less alive now. Good healing there, not bad. Healing Expert healing us up some more as well. Now, come on, let's take it. Oh, we got dodged. That's not too good. Bit more healing coming in. That's fine. Now, come on, Hellside. Can you get the kill here? No, but I'm pretty sure the ult will, unless... Oh, wow! Stormwitch did a ton of damage there, and Hellside comes in for the finish. Beautifully done. That's a victory, and that gets us 10 advanced recruit devices. So let's blast these 10 out, see if we can get ourselves another rest here. Ah, oh, I sadly didn't. But we do get some more A's and B's, which means we can enhance the star levels of our heroes. Now, I think we can take these guys high. I'm looking at Hellside here. I think we can get her up. So I'm going to evolve her, and I'm going to add in Powerful Mage. That's going to be 4-star. And for 5-star, ooh, I'm going to need 2 more. Good thing I've got these Ruthless Genes. And that's going to be 5-star on Hellsight. Now, to get Hellsight up to Silver Star, I will need another Hellsight copy. However, we have made some big progress leveling up our heroes, so what I'm going to do is now clear out the map, claim everything we can, and then we're going to move to Chapter 4. So it's going to be the same kind of thing here. We're going to beat through the campaign missions and then clear out the whole map. Although we do have a predator that spawned. That's important. Let's go ahead and find him. Predators are important to fight, but make sure you can fight them when they do appear because they will be sometimes really powerful. But well, we got a lot of these pirates here, actually. These guys are putting up quite the battle. Oh, but we're leveling up quickly. We're getting a lot of XP from these fights now. That's good to see. But I still can't find this predator. Where the heck is he? There it is, right. So these guys are all level 40. I think we can take these, you know. Let's give it a spin. So Predators normally drop incredible rewards, but they're only on the map for a limited time, so you want to make sure you can beat them. It's definitely looking like this is winnable, though, given the strength of our team. Yeah, we're doing pretty solid here. Well, they do have some powerful heroes. They got, I think, is that Sergeant? They've got Valkyrie. I think that one there might be Flame Witch. Flame Witch isn't too strong, but the other two are pretty scary. 
Especially when Valkyrie can do multiple attacks. So hopefully we can kill her before she gets her active. Oh, she's ready and charged. That's a little scary. Now, we will be doing just a basic here with Hellsight. We killed, I guess, two of the opponents. That's not too terrible. Oh, there you go. That's Valkyrie doing a lot of damage. Already killing half our team now. Oh, my word. That's a bit of damage coming there from Sergeant. Okay, three opponents left. It's now an even match. Okay, never mind. Our Stormwitch died. Healing Expert getting some heals up, though. It is all now on Hellsight to get this one beat. Come on. You can do it. We're taking a lot of damage. Oh, no. Come on. You can do it. Okay, Hellsight. Big heals here. Big damage. Oh, come on. Valkyrie is nearly dead. Let's go. We're enraged. We dodged. That's nice. Come on. Oh, that's another kill. No. Come on. No. What you mean? You got two attacks off. No! Oh, we're dead. Okay, okay, okay. Before that guy despawns, we're going to level up our team. Also, for the day one rewards, all I need to do now is extract origin genes once. So what I'll do is I'll go to the cabin, we'll go to bio cabin, and let's just get one of these going. Let's just do a C origin, because they only take about 30 minutes. And also, I want to put some more levels into our lineup. So let's take this Storm Witch up. Okay, we've got her to level 60, and that's going to use all my force here. But now we do have two level 60 heroes, which is nice. We also have another 10 heroes we could summon from here. Mostly bees, but that's not a problem. In the meantime, let's head back into adventure and see if those extra levels on Stormwitch are enough to get us the win. Yeah, there we go. We've already killed two of them. This is going much better than last time. We lost our bloody spear, but that's not too much of an issue. She's not really the main hero on our lineup. And there we go. We're now onto the back line. So at this point, I'm going to turn off auto mode. Ooh, we lost one of our healers. That's not good. Get shot here. That's fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use an active here on Hellsight. That's fine. But actually, you know what? I was going to fight in manual mode, but I think we're still okay here. I don't need to do anything outside of the auto stuff. But now at this point, I will. I'm going to use an energy canister, which is going to give us full energy here on Hellsight so she gets another active just so she hits both of these opponents, which means it more likely that we can go ahead and take them down. And is that going to be a win? Let's see. There's just one enemy left here. That's Sergeant just on the end. Can we kill her? Yeah, we're surviving this. Come on. There it is. She's dead. Beautifully done. Well, with that beaten, that's the hardest enemy on the map. So I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and beat this whole chapter if we're lucky. Okay, folks, we've made it to the boss fight of Chapter 4, and these fights in Chapter 4 are starting to get a little bit grindy. Some of our heroes are dying, we're getting the better taken out of us sometimes, especially by these samurai-looking dudes. They do deal a lot of damage. But so far, we seem to be doing okay. The Hellsight stall team seems to be working quite nicely, our two healers keeping her alive. And when it's just down to her on the front line, a lot of heroes will focus their attacks into her. But it still does mean our healers are free just to keep the health scythe going, which is nice. Which is why we have them on the back line, because they're nice and safe and protected. So hopefully we can work through here nicely. Okay, we've lost our Storm Witch. That's no surprise here. She does keep dying. She's pretty squishy. It'd be nice if I could put her in the back line as well, but I do want to keep my healers safe. And I need Maya behind our health scythe, because Maya wielding the katana is actually buffing health scythe, improving her attack and her HP. You can see here our healers doing their actives to keep us alive. And we're nearly down to just the back row on the opposing team. There you go. And now we've just got to hopefully stay alive with this health side. She's going to be taking a lot of damage from these attacks, though. That guy there at the front will do a chop. We're still alive, though, which is good. We should be able to tank this. We've got a good heal coming from our ult here from health side. There you go. It heals her up, deals good damage. That guy there at the back looking pretty low on his HP. The other guy's about half HP as well. So it's just the Magic Arrow who's a pretty decent HP, but she's not too much of an issue. Magic Arrow is mainly an energy feeder for the column, and given the fact the hero in front of her is dead, she's only feeding energy to herself, which is nice. And also, she's a low level, so she's not actually feeding that much consistent energy. At higher levels, Magic Arrow's energy feed can be really scary. Definitely a hero you might want to consider. Arcane Scholar does a similar thing as well if you're able to get copies of her, but she's a little more difficult to obtain. Either way, this fight's going pretty nicely now. And I'm pretty confident with one big ult here from Hellside that we should see the wave fall. Or at least that guy there at the back should drop. Either way, Hellside's ready to go. Here we go. Yep, we've killed that guy there. And now it's just the magic arrow, which should be pretty easy to take down. Just a few hits from Hellside should do the trick. They've got no healing. So that magic arrow should fall pretty nicely. 
So yeah, just a little bit of health left now. So health size should get the finish. Here she comes. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and clear through the map here. Get all this stuff done. And then I'll move on to the next chapter. And the nice thing is all these opponents here are dropping a ton of XP. So we can go ahead and beat them. And that'll level us up real quick. And with all that cleared, we're ready to move on to the next chapter. Here we go. So we've got some memory shards we can go ahead and put in here. That's going to unlock this stage here. And we've now got A on Maya. So for making it as far as we have through campaign, it's now actually improved Maya's skills. You get some more story here you can go ahead and read. And now you can see that Maya is finally at A tier, no longer stuck at B. We've also unlocked the palace as well, which is pretty fun. If we put in heroes in here, we'll actually improve the power of our heroes. And actually, the resonance allows us to improve the level of our lower leveled heroes. Now, I do have 10 advanced recruits, which we'll do here just to see if I can get an S tier hero. Sadly, I can't. But I did get a copy of Priest. She's another great healer. So just for the full completion, I'm going to go ahead and level up Priest to level 10. And with Priest at level 10, if we go to the palace, you can see in the resonance menu that actually I can now put Maya in here. And actually, we will automatically see Maya's level enhanced to level 10. So if I just move myself real quick, you can see below me, Maya's now level 10. You can also get more slots as you improve your Master Cabin, and that will enhance your lower level heroes, making them much stronger. There's also the Prey feature here, where you want to try and put in every single hero you can, and what will happen is the heroes that you're not using on your team will be enhanced by the rest of the heroes that make it into this menu. Now here we have the Endless Trial, which should allow us to go ahead and fight some boss fights, and hopefully we can beat through these pretty quickly. The nice thing about the Endless Trial is when it defeats, you get another stage unlocked, you go ahead and fight that boss, and you keep going until there's no more bosses you can beat. When you start to struggle against a boss, you can move around the Endless Trial board and try to enhance your team by getting some additional bonuses and benefits, which might make the difference in that boss fight. For now though, I'm going to keep smashing through these and see how far we can get. Okay, we failed here on level 5. That's no surprise here. What I can do here, though, is I'm going to claim our rewards, and that's going to get me some triangle crystals, which will help us level up. And as well, we have the simulated alpha. I'm just going to go ahead and fight this with just a simple lineup. I haven't got really a dedicated team, so I'm not going to try and min-max this, but getting myself on the leaderboard at the very least will be pretty good. I'll also add in three healers here, just because any amount of healing we can get is going to be really helpful against these kind of opponents. Okay, we managed to do 28,000 damage, which actually puts me 13th on the leaderboard. That's not bad. So let's claim our rewards here. That's going to get me gold and force. And let's go claim our loot here. And we can go and explore this in the final half hour. Also, because we made progress in the Endless Trial, we're going to start getting advanced recruit devices from doing that. And also bits of shards, which potentially could result in heroes in the long run. Now in the recruits, I have 10 more advanced recruits, which we'll go ahead and pop out now. Hopefully I can get an S tier. Who's it going to be? Ooh, Bounty Hunter. She's not one of the most powerful, but she's still pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'll level up that Bounty Hunter, because we really don't have anyone better right now we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss Bloody Spear, because we definitely don't need her anymore. And we're going to level up Bounty Hunter. So we'll put in our Origin Genes here. And the goal is to get Bounty Hunter to 3 star. So with Bounty Hunter added, let's go ahead and upgrade her. And I think I might be able to get her to level 60 as well. Oh, nearly. I got to 54. So what I can do now is I can add Bounty Hunter to our list here. We'll add in bloody spear as well and we get a ton of resonance bonuses for the team improving our attack hp and our percentages for physical defense magic defense attack and hp so that's looking pretty good so to finish let's go to arena and see if i can get a better performance here against these opponents so first i'll set my defensive team putting in bounty hunter and we'll swap out healing expert for the priest as i think she's a slightly better healer also i'll put bounty hunter slot one here just because she's got some good crowd control and I'll put Hellsite in the middle and Stormwitch on the end. So let's go put this team to the test. See if we can beat some guys in the top 10. So there's a guy here in 7th called Lee that I'm pretty confident we're going to beat. Let's go send it in. A failure. Ooh, okay. What the heck is he running? Oh, he's got Bounty Hunter fully upgrade. Ah, okay. He's got some 6-star heroes. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, and his combat power is actually way higher than the game's advertising. Ah, I see. Ah, <laughs> He's enhanced his team. What about Nick Salem? Let's see if we can beat this guy. Yep, there we go. You know what? I'll take that. That puts me eighth on the leaderboard. So let's go claim that gene then as that's finally through here. And we're going to go to our daily rewards in the journey. And we'll grab this, finishing off all the things we needed to do today. That also gets us a copy of Gentle Healer, which is nice. 
So up here in the corner, we've got ourselves a Predator, which I should be able to beat. Now we've got Bounty Hunter here. Yep, nicely done. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and fight through the rest of campaign, see how much progress I can make, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you go ahead and check this game out. It's completely free to play on the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. And if you want to go ahead and give this a try with this server with me, we're on the Google servers on server 82. And yeah, it's a pretty fun game. We're going to be playing through this some more. So hit that subscribe button if you want to catch some more Angel Legion content, as I will be bringing videos out weekly, keeping track of our progress on this account. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an amazing week. And of course, happy idols.